All right, ready? Or maybe as a coach. Okay. Okay. We're going to play serious stuff now. No, 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 no. It's sit. almost like the kid knew what he was doing. Sit down. Who won? So do you, don't you want to be white now? Uh, no, the kid did. I'm fine. Wait, this give him more one? time. He no, 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 no. <laughs> no. Time. No. I'm so no. used to... You need more time. No, I don't. I'm glad that you... Hey guys, Brian here. Hope you enjoyed the game. That was crazy, man. Well done, Sir Khan. Only 12 years old and... um. Getting that nice win over an IM. I mean, even though there was time lots, it's still a nice win. Um, definitely a um, good game on both parts. They played so fast, man. If you blinked like a couple times, you would have missed the whole game. So um, I know some of you probably couldn't follow the game, but um, I think that's fine. It, it's, uh, you know, we don't do bullet on the, on the channel a lot of times, but I think once in a while it's kind of fun to see just how fast these guys calculate and everything. And the thing about playing bullet in real life you can't pre-move like you can online so um a lot of pieces flying around a lot of mistakes and but very fun nonetheless and we're gonna learn some cool stuff when we analyze it all right so let me know what you guys thought of it in the comments below and let's go over the game see what we can learn and also quick note to any parents watching this if you have kids like try to get them into chess because for some reason i mean probably because they're young their brain just like soaks it up and they get really good really fast and I think chess is actually, I think it could be one of the antidotes to all the negative effects of modern technology, like with apps and smartphones and all that stuff, like all of that stuff is conditioning, the, the rewarding kind of short focused behavior in minds of kids, right? I think when you look at a lot of kids nowadays, they're very like, they can't focus for a long time, but if you get your kid into playing chess, tournament chess, like those really long, like hour two hour three hour four hour long games and they will be able to develop that focus like a any parent watching this go to like a big scholastic chess tournament and you'll be shocked at seeing kids like as young as four or five playing chess and not talking and just sitting in their seat concentrating for four or five hours it's an amazing thing to see it's very rare today so um, just just a quick piece of advice there. All right, don't forget to check out the um, video description for all the cool links as well. All the Amazon chess gear links are there as well as uh, we got new merch. So um, there's a lot of coffee chess merchandise you guys can get as well. Cups, shirts, and a lot of cool stuff. Really helps support the channel and get the cool stuff as well. All right, so in this position, in the game we had... Um, 
Sircon take, and then uh, Levon took. Let's go move back here. Pause the video. What would have been another move for white here? This is a good tactical thing to consider, and this is very tactically rich. There's a lot of things to learn, so. All right, first move is queen h5. The idea is you threaten mate here. Oops, sorry. You threaten mate here, and the escape square is covered by the knight. So what do you do as black? Obviously, you take the knight, retake with the bishop. And now look at this, bishop attacking the queen. Where is the queen going to go? This pawn is guarding the escape square, so black will have to sack um, one of his pieces, let's say the knight. And take, take, and pause the video. What would you do as white here? It's a really sweet tactic. Um, I'm gonna give you guys a little bit more time just because it's it's like for those of you who've never seen it, you will remember it after you see this. All right. So bishop's under attack, right? So eh, retreat the bishop, right? No, take the pawn. And you're thinking, what? Queen takes, yes. But when queen takes, it vacates the protection of this square, which allows d7. How cool is this, man? I remember seeing this tactic for the first time a while back, and it was like a pawn, a single pawn threatening two rooks. Wow, and there's nothing these rooks can do about it. <laughs> Look how powerful these two rooks are, but they're just, um, one of them is going to go down to a single lonely pawn, and yeah, just just something to keep in mind. These pawn forks are, are really cool when they're, when they're done to two rooks like this. All right, so let's go to the second position. Um, let's go down here. In the game, we had uh, bishop g7. Let's go move back, pause video. What would have been another move for black here? All right, you got to get rid of that pesky pass pawn here. You have to. And um, so bishop takes, and this could be one line. Again, the game could go a lot of ways, but one idea is double up and bishop back. Take, take, queen check. Offer the trade, and material count is, let's see, even. He's got isolated pawns here. I mean, but, you know, 0 0.5 computer has black, I mean, or I'm sorry, white slightly better. So um, that's that's uh, one way that kind of the game could have equalized. But let's go to the last chance that black had to stay in the game. After this, he was toast. So um, here in this position, and, and I should mention, I should have mentioned this in the beginning. Sorry, guys, but since it was like time mods and... Levon only had one minute. They were playing really fast. Mistakes were bound to be made, so very very easy to judge this game, but um, just keep that time control in mind. We all, uh, yeah, everybody plays bad when they're playing fast, so. All right, um, in this position, uh, black played a4, trying to queen that pawn. Let's go move back, pause video. What would have been another move for white, for, I'm sorry, for black here? And this is a good defensive tactic to remember. All right, let, mm, to give you an idea of what happened in the game, I mean, once you, once you remember what happened in the game, I think it's easy to remember what to do here. So in the game, after a4 was pushed, we had queen takes. Let's go a couple moves back here. Once this pawn drops, this pawn drops, this pawn will drop, and white has... These beautiful pawns here that proved to be the decisive factor in the game. So, as black, definitely want to protect that pawn. So, rook over is the defensive tactic, and um, that'll kind of hold the position for a while. White is still better at 1.8, but um, this, yeah, once this goes, it's kind of like a dam bursting like a log jam. You know, it's just the water is just going to, all these pawns are just going to roll. So, all right, that's about it. Hope you guys enjoyed the game. Hope you guys enjoyed the analysis. Please don't forget to like, share, comment, and subscribe. Hit that bell notification, and thanks. I'll see you guys later.